The University of Alabama has some of the most passionate and loyal fans in all of sports. Unfortunately, the majority has been silenced by two fans in the stands. If we zoom in, you could see the words on the back of the shirt. It reads, killing our way through the SEC in 23. The fans seen here walking outside of the arena in Nashville, Tennessee, wore the messages emblazoned on their backs in lieu of former Crimson Tide basketball player Darius Miles and his friend Michael Lynn Davis being indicted on capital murder charges for killing 23-year-old Jamea Harris, a mother. On January 15th, Miles was dismissed from the team. Brandon Miller, the star of of the Tide is alleged to have brought the firearm that Miles requested the evening of the shooting per investigators. Since then, Alabama has provided the public with room for criticism. After hitting a three-pointer, Miller celebrated by making a finger gun, though defenders have said it signals three points. Towards the end of the regular season, Miller and his teammates did a mock pat-down during player introductions. The school would go on to say they've been doing it all year. The Tide's coach is Nate O. He has been anything but great on the subject. Can't control everything anybody does outside of practice. Nobody knew that was going to happen. College kids are out. Brandon hasn't been in any type of trouble, nor is he in any trouble, type of trouble on this case. It's like in the wrong spot at the wrong time. So then. There was reports that surfaced of Oates reaching out to Ray Lewis on how to handle the Miller-Miles situation. Look, he's just a college kid doing dumb college kid things, okay? I mean, raise your hand if you haven't supplied a gun used in a murder. DNP Sports Show would mock Oates for his actions, which brings us back to the Alabama fan wearing those shirts at the SEC tournament. When a reporter requested comment on the choice to wear the shirt, the fan said, Get the blank out of my face. The fan, who did not identify himself, did say he was an Alabama fan and intended to attend Sunday's title game. So, just a quick note. I saw many commenters saying that could be a Texas A&M fan or they're Aggies fans. Well, the reporter, John Talty, asked the man if he was indeed a fan of the Crimson Tide. He said he was a huge supporter. SEC spokesperson Herb Vinson, pictured here, would then make it known if a fan wears this shirt, their ticket is revoked and they will be escorted out of the arena. It was not just from Alabama fans, however. These two fans who wore Vanderbilt t-shirts chanted Brandon Killer, directed at the likely top five pick. This behavior is also uncalled for. As Talty noted in his write-up of the unruly fans, Miller has not been charged with any crimes, but police testified that he transported Miles' gun to him after being asked to do so. Miles later provided the gun to Michael Davis, according to police who shot and killed Harris in Tuscaloosa. There are parallels from the Alabama fan to the Deshaun Watson Browns fan who wrote a sign that read, F them hoes, and had his child hold up a sign that read, Free Watson. Here's what I'll leave you with. We have seen how the power of influence works, whether it's from sports to politics, what have you. You could even look at Donald Trump's influence with COVID-19, calling it the racist China virus and how Republicans took that on as well. I wish a stronger precedent was set by head coach Nate Oates, by the team to not pull any of these antics because when you have those that appear larger than life, the fans of those people or those institutions, those individuals will then see that, pass it down, and then co-opt it. I hate this. I despise it. I wish that there was a precedent set, period.